Good morning everybody. Thank you for tuning in for our devotion again this week. We're starting with 1 John chapter 5 today and we've got a shorter bit, verses 1 to 5. John, uh, 1 John 5 verse 1 to 5. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commands. In fact, this is love for God, to keep his commands, and his commands are not burdensome, for everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. John has been talking a lot about love so far. First John has a big emphasis on love. But his point is that loving others doesn't earn salvation. We cannot love properly, firstly, if it doesn't come from God. And if we are not loving, then obviously we don't have true love from God. But at the same time, we cannot earn our salvation by having an intellectual understanding of what's going on. We must love as well and do His commands. We must love Him and we must do His commands. That's the, the recipe that we are given in 1 John and that's the indication that we are truly saved. It's not only random love. And it's not only random intellectual understanding. It's knowing who God is, loving who God is, and doing what God has told us to do. Now what good is it if we call ourselves Christians, but we don't love properly, but we don't understand who He is properly, but we don't uh, do what He has told us to do properly? We cannot earn our salvation like that. And we can't call ourselves Christians if we are not going to follow the recipe. In fact, to the natural man, these things are burdensome. John says these things are not burdensome. They're not a burden. His commands are not difficult to keep. But to the natural man, it is a fact that they are. Because with our unregenerate state of being, we are working from a sinful nature. And nothing good can come from a sinful nature. But if he has regenerated us, if he regenerated us, if he has given us new life, if he has called us to a new way of living, it means he has put his spirit in us. It means that he is guiding us and leading us. It means that he has uh, overcome our sinful nature, something that we couldn't do. And we live this new life in him. And if that is our state of being, his commands are not going to be burdensome. To the natural man they are because they don't make sense, because I can't keep them. But if something's changing, yeah, then they are not a burden. With God, with true love for the Father and the Son, with the Spirit living inside our hearts, we will love Him properly. We will know Him properly. We will keep His commands properly. We will love one another and we will overcome the flesh. But victory is not for everybody. Overcoming the world is only for the one who believes that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. It all hinges on on him without him we cannot overcome and we are facing God's wrath but with him we overcome the world and we look forward to the victory that we have with him eternal life that we have with him forevermore but it all comes down to what we do with the Son of God do we love him do we love the Father because of him do we have the Spirit because of him are we loving one another because of Him? Are we keeping God's commands because of Him? It all hinges and comes down to the Son of God. And so the challenge this morning is, where are you at? It's a bad sentence. Don't end a sentence with a preposition. <laughs> but what is your state of being today? If you're a regenerate person, are you loving God? Are you keeping His commandments? Are you loving one another? Do you know who He is? Or are you making excuses? Oh, well, I'm saved. I don't need to worry about these things too much. Or are you an unregenerate person who thinks that you know God or thinks that you love God, but His commands are still a burden for you to keep? But loving one another is still a difficult thing to do because you don't understand love. You see, it all comes down to the Son of God. And I would encourage you 
to, to come to terms with the Son of God? What are you going to do with Him? And if you know the Son of God, why are you sitting still and not loving and not keeping His commandments and not making an effort to go further uh, in His Word and further in an understanding of who He is? Our faith is not an idle faith. We need to overcome the world. By His power and grace, we will overcome the world. But if we're sitting still, we're not going to overcome the world. And so I want to challenge you this morning. Do something with Jesus. Let Him fill your hearts. Read uh, His Word. Be, come to an understanding, a deep understanding of who He is. Know His love. Show His love. Keep His commandments. And every day overcome the world because of Him living in you. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for this word to us this morning. Thank you for reminding us that it's not only about love uh, from our human perspective. It's not about an intellectual understanding only, but it's about true love that can only come from you. It's about true knowledge of who you are that only comes from you. Without you, we cannot overcome the world. Without you, we cannot understand your commands. They're burdensome to us. Without you, we cannot love. And so, Lord Jesus, I pray that you will again remind us of your love, of who you are, that keeping your commandments is not difficult to do. Forgive us where we've been idle, where we haven't been loving, where we haven't been knowing, where we haven't been doing. Forgive us and guide us back into your word, I pray. Guide us back to a true understanding of who you are, to a true understanding. Uh, love that can only come from you. We cannot love properly without you. And so also help us to love you and to love others as you would have us love. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.